Today we'll be talking about sprayer calibration using the 1-128 method for motorized backpack mist sprayer systems. The motorized backpack mist sprayer, commonly known as the mist blower, has a small engine that powers a fan which is connected to a spray hopper. The fan blows airstream which contacts the spray solution. The spray solution is being discharged at a predetermined pace. The air force, in combination with the chemical solution, produces a fine mist. This combination can help us penetrate dense plant canopy and allow for increased spray coverage of crop protection chemicals. Calibrating a motorized backpack mist blower properly is an important step in applying crop protection chemicals effectively at the recommended label rate. Today we'll be talking about utilizing the 1-128 calibration method, which is a fast and easy way to compute the gallon per acre rate of spray applications. This 1-128 calibration method requires almost no calculation. So this is as simple as it gets. The number of fluid ounces of spray mix applied to the 340 square foot area corresponds to the estimated number of gallons of spray mix per acre. So let's go through this again. Let's say we put down 100 ounces within the 300 square foot area. Utilizing the spray calibration technique, we know that we put down an estimated 100 gallons per acre rate. So the 1 1 28th calibration method is based on a ratio. The number of ounces applied to the 340 square foot area is equivalent to the number of gallons applied per acre. So how do you get started? First thing you do is measure a test area equal to 1 1 28th of an acre or 340 square feet. How you choose to lay out the 340 square feet is up to you. You may choose to use an area which is 18.5 feet by 18.5 feet or in this example we're using 10 feet by 34 feet which will give us a 340 square foot area. You do not need to use exact dimensions provided in our examples. However, it is important to establish a 340 square foot area, which is 1 1 28th of an acre. Here you will see an example of what 340 square feet look like. It is important to have some type of measuring device as well as flagging system so you can see the layout of your area. Okay, good. So next you're going to need to know the starting volume in which you're dealing with. In this example, we're using 384 ounces, which we'll be pouring into a clean spray hopper. So in addition to knowing your starting volume of spray solution, which in this situation is water, it's also important to take note of the orifice opening of your mist blower as well as the motor speed and ensure that those variables stay constant. Okay, next step, you're going to spray water on the targeted plants in a comfortable, consistent motion to get the best spray coverage of the 340 square foot area. Keep in mind consistent uniform spraying motion and uniform walking speed as well. Measure the time it takes you to spray the targeted area. While time does not play a factor into this calibration style, it may be helpful for the sprayer to be consistent in their spraying approach. Great, you're almost there. Now turn off the engine, empty and measure the remaining water from the hopper. This will tell you how much water was discharged onto the 340 square foot area. In our previous publications on spray calibration for the boom system or the spray gun system, we used time to determine how much volume was applied to the 340 square foot area. To calibrate the mist blower, we're going to be using a system utilized by the IR4 program here in Hawaii. You're going to measure the remaining water left in the hopper. Okay, so now we know there was 192 ounces of water left remaining in the spray hopper. Okay, so let's recap. We know we started with 384 ounces. We drained out of the spray hopper 192 ounces, which means we put down 192 ounces for the 340 square foot area. Okay, so using subtraction, we know we started with 384 ounces. There was 192 ounces left in the spray tank, 
which means we put down 192 ounces for the 340 square foot area. Utilizing this calibration method, we know we put down 192 gallons per acre. To maintain consistency, it's always important to repeat these steps two to three more times and average the results. The accuracy of spray delivery is only as good as the consistency of the application in the test area. While we're just using water and a clean spray hopper for spray calibration purposes, it's always important to consider using PPE due to the drift and some of the residues left in the tank. Knowing how much product is applied to your crop is essential. Also important is obtaining good spray coverage, ensuring that the key areas are targeted for optimum press control. Understanding the gallon per acre rate of application is important. Also important is understanding that a change in one aspect of pesticide application can drastically affect the results. Spray equipment should be calibrated at the beginning of each application as conditions often change, such as changes in crop height or crop types. As the canopy increases, typically so does the spray volume. Routine calibration and applying the right spray volume may increase efficacy, productivity, and long-term cost savings. Keep in mind that simple adjustments made during spray applications, such as changing the spray pressure or adjusting the sprayer components, changing your walking speed, or moving the position of the spray boom up and down, can drastically affect your end results. So we talked about crop changes and sprayer adjustments. Changes in equipment can also affect sprayer output. Every variable affects your gallon per acre rate. Let's say someone calls into work sick. When you change the applicator, the output changes as well. Therefore, we recommend calibrating your sprayer at the onset of every application. So now we're going to calculate how much spray volume and chemical to use in an 800 square foot area based on our predetermined spray volume of 192 gallons per acre. First, we need to determine the size of our area, which is 20 by 40 feet or 800 square feet. We divide that by 43560, as we know that's the number of square feet per acre, and we get 0 0.02 acres. So question, do we just fill up the spray tank all the way to the top or does it matter how much water we add? So next we take our 0 0.02 acres and we multiply them by our calibrated spray volume which is 192 gallons per acre and we find that we need 3.8 gallons within our hopper to treat the 0 0.02 acres. So the most popular question is always how much pesticide do I add to my tank? So we take our acreage, which is 0 0.02, and we multiply it by the type of pesticide and the amount of pesticides that we want to apply per acre. In this situation, it's 32 ounces per acre, which gives us 0.64 ounces for the 800 square feet that we want to treat. We understand it's going to be difficult for growers to measure out 0.64 of an ounce. Therefore, you can multiply by 29.6 to convert ounces to milliliters, which will give you close to 19 milliliters. Mist blowers are a popular spray tool here in Hawaii. However, keep in mind the limitations on the spray hopper size and the minute amount of chemicals that often need to be mixed into the spray volume. So in summary, we utilize the 1128th spray calibration method to determine our volume at 192 gallons per acre. We treat it in an area of 800 square feet, utilizing 19 milliliters of a selected pesticide into 3.8 gallons of water in order to, to treat 0 0.02 acres. From vegetables to orchard tree crops, soil crops to aquaponically grown produce, the use of mist blowers are gaining popularity in Hawaii. Whether you're using a small gallonage tank to a modified spray unit, please calibrate your systems to achieve optimal coverage and control. Most importantly, ensure you are applying crop protection chemicals correctly in a safe manner to safeguard yourself, farm workers, and consumers. For more information on spray calibration or help with calculating pesticide amounts for your sprayer, please contact Jensen Ueda or Jerry Sigano at the Wahoo Cooperative Extension Service at the Wahiwa Extension Office at 622-4185. Aloha.